friend and I graduated in 2017. We wanted to go away for the weekend to celebrate before prepping for college. We decided on a camping trip as it was something we've never done before. Our destination was a lake just outside the woods. It was about a two hour drive from where we lived. It was a popular camping spot where many people would go, so it was quite safe. We headed out on our trip Friday afternoon. When we got there, we parked at the designated parking area and hiked 30 minutes to the camp spot near the lake. When we arrived, it was surprisingly quiet. There was only two other camping families, each about 100 meters in distance from each other. Nevertheless, we put our stuff down and started to set up camp. Once we were set up, we decided on a campfire dinner in an early night. We were kind of tired after the trip. We grilled some minute steaks over the fire, chatted a bit, then started to clean up. My friend then turned to me and said, Did you hear that? I looked at him confused and said, No, hear what? He said it sounded like a child crying, but a creepy cry. I laughed him off and said it was probably one of the other camper kids and not to look into it. I mean, it was creepy enough being alone in the dark woods. We settled in our tents and went off to sleep. The next morning we got up early to head down to the lake for some fishing. It was a great day. After a long day of fishing, we decided to call it and head back up to the camp. As we got back to our tents, we noticed that the other two camper families had packed up and already left. It was a bit more eerie now, I will admit, but I brushed it off my head and wanted to enjoy the rest of the trip. We set up the campfire and cooked some dinner. After dinner, I lay back on the ground, looking up at the stars peering through the trees. It was a beautiful night. <laughs> then suddenly, I heard a child crying. I jumped up and looked at my friend with disbelief. He gave me the same frightened look, saying, I told you there was a kid around here. I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, knowing actually how real it really was. We both stayed on high alert for a while after. We considered packing up and just calling it, but decided on staying. It was only one more night, plus the walk back to the car was a while away in the dark woods. We got into our tents and just sat there, waiting to hear something. It was quiet for over an hour, so we lay down for some sleep before our long trip in the early morning. As I was dozing off, I suddenly heard footsteps, heavy footsteps, like those of a fully grown man walking around our tent. I woke my friend up who had already dozed off about 20 minutes ago. I whispered to him that someone was outside our tent. My friend started to panic. He was a very nervous person and I could see he was about to freak out. I yelled out, who's there? No answer, no sound to be heard. My friend sat still quivering as I did. Then heard the footsteps again, followed by a hand brushing along the side of our tent. My friend and I couldn't handle it anymore. We jumped up, grabbed the car keys and our backpack and ran out of the tent. My friend grabbed my arm and we ran for our lives, not looking back. He only let go of my arm as we neared our car. I can't blame him, I was just as scared as he was. We jumped in and I sped off out of there as fast as I could. As we got onto the freeway, we finally felt safe again. And we even had a little giggle about the whole thing that just happened. Vowing to each other not to ever go camping again. I chuckled to my friend and said, you were more terrified than me. Why did you grab my arm like that? You almost ripped it off, dude. Still laughing at him. My friend looked at me with a confused look on his face and said, but I never grabbed your arm. <laughs>